We are working on Gmetrics Excel Core Skills Review 2. The first task asks us to go ahead and uh, make the grid lines visible. What we want to do is go to the View tab here at the top and in the Show group, just click Grid Lines. Task 2 asks us to go ahead and move our um, the loan amortization schedule from a different workbook into this workbook. So let's go ahead and click File. We'll click Open. What you want to do is map to your Gmetrics templates folder. And what you want to do is open up the Excel 07. And we'll click and drag that up. So where you can see this, what you want to do here is right click on that tab, click move or copy. Here in to book, we want to say Excel 06. We'll click OK. And it says to make sure that the um, that it's after the time card. So we want to click, and all I did was click and drag it over. And notice that it's listed second. Task three wants us to go ahead and apply conditional formatting around a range. So let's go ahead and find D21 to H27. Once we've selected that range, what we want to do is here at the top on the home tab, we want to do the conditional formatting drop down. It says it's data bars and it's a solid fill, red. Task four wants us to go ahead and insert a header and a footer in this worksheet. So what we wanna do is go to the insert tab here at the top. We wanna to go to the text group over here, click header and footer. On the left hand side, it wants us to go ahead and put the current date. So we'll go ahead and click that. On the right hand side, we'll go ahead and click uh, the page number. And then what we wanna do is click go to now, sometimes Excel glitches a little bit, and I don't know if it's the G-Metrics combination. What I'm going to do is just zoom out to try and find my footer at the bottom. It should have just taken me there, but it, it glitched out. Um, but in our footer, it wants us to go ahead and add the sheet name on the left footer field. So we're in here. We'll click Design to get back into these uh, features. And we just want to go ahead and click Sheet Name. Now, before you hit Next, make sure you click back into the workbook. Task five asks us to go ahead and insert a formula. So let's go ahead and go to D30. And it wants us to go ahead and key in a sum formula first. And the range is D21 to D27. You could just select the range. I'm just hand keying it. There are a few ways to do this. But then it wants us to go ahead and multiply the sum by D29. We'll click Enter. Task six wants us to go ahead and edit our options. So we'll go head and click file options and then what we want to do is click formula over here on the left and then what you want to do is in the error checking it says to not enable so what we want to do is uncheck enable background error checking and then we'll go ahead and shrink this little screen so we can click OK. Task 7 wants us to go ahead and change our page margin so we'll go to the page layout tab here at the top and in the page setup group, we'll click the margins drop down and click custom margins. It says that it wants it to be two at the top and bottom, and it wants it to be one on the left and right side. We'll click OK. Task eight wants us to go ahead and edit our Excel options. And specifically, we're going to change our auto recovery save. So we'll click file options. We're going to be in the save group. And what we want to do is just click the down arrow until you see five. And click OK. Task nine wants us to go ahead and freeze the top row of the loan amortization schedule. So what we want to do here is um, we don't have to put our cursor in any specific place because it's just the top row. So we'll just click View. And in the Windows group, click Freeze. And what we'll do is uh, click Freeze Top Row. And now when I scroll down, that row one is always visible. Task 10 wants us to go ahead and set our print area from A1 to J13. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select that range. Then we want to go to the page layout tab here at the top. In the page setup group, we'll click the print area drop down and click set print area. Task 11 wants us to go ahead and modify a style. So um, we're on the home tab here and in the styles group, we'll click the cells drop down. 
And then what we want to do is actually right click on the title, click modify, we'll click format. We want to click font here at the top and then all that it wants us to do is to change this from 18 to 20. We'll click OK. OK. Task 12 wants us to go ahead and change the tab color of each of the worksheets here. And it doesn't matter which one we choose. So we'll go ahead and the, we'll do the first one, expenses. What we'll do is we'll right click. We'll select tab color and we'll select red. Income. We'll select green. And for profit, we'll select blue. And again, all I did was right click each tab to get those settings. Task 13 wants us to go ahead and create a PDF of our workbook. So we'll go ahead and click File. And you can do Save As, but we'll click Export. Create PDF, XPS. We'll click this. You want to make sure that this says PDF. If it doesn't, go ahead and change it. We want to change the name to Fusion Tomo. You also want to make sure that you're in your Gmetrix templates folder. If you're not, go ahead and map the file to there. And then uh, make sure that this is unchecked. If you don't, it will uh, open up the PDF when it's done. If that happens, just close out of it. It'll be okay. Task 14 wants us to go ahead and use the Go To Special tool to find comments and ultimately delete the comment. So we're on the Home tab. We're in the Editing group. Go To Special. Comments is selected. We'll click OK. Notice it went ahead and it brought us to this. And you can tell there's a comment in this cell. If you look closely, the uh, right-hand corner has a red triangle. And when I hover over it, it gives me uh, just a little comment box. Now, there are a few ways to do it. I could right-click the cell and click Delete Comment. Or I could go to the Review tab here at the top. And with that cell selected, just click Delete. Task 15 wants us to go ahead and edit a named range. What we want to do is go to the Formulas tab here at the top. In the Define Names, click Name Manager. And we want to scroll down to the Research. From here, we'll go ahead and select this. And what it wants us to do is to only reference the names here. So in the Research group, we'll select this group. Make sure you hit your checkbox here to set that change. We'll click Close. Task 16 asks us to go ahead and uh, create a reference in cells E42. F42 and G42 to a named range. So what we want to do is we'll put our cursor on E42. We'll hit the equals on our keyboard. And what we want to do is begin typing. Now, there's two named ranges very similar. Make sure you select event total and uh, hit tab. And then what you want to do is hit enter or tab to set the cell. Again, F42, we want to type in pro total. I'll hit tab twice. And then G42 equals add total. Tab. Task 17 asks us to go ahead and change the comment in A40. So let's go ahead and scroll down to A40. And what it wants us to do is just go ahead and add the comment PowerPoint information. So what we'll do is, there are a few ways to do this, but we'll right click here and just click Edit Comment. And then underneath my name, I'll go ahead and type in PowerPoint information. Make sure you click out of that to set the text. Task 18 asks us to go ahead and change our view. So we'll go ahead and click the View tab here at the top, and we'll click Page Break Preview. Task 19 wants us to go ahead and apply a round bevel to the illustration. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select the image here at the top. We'll go ahead and select Format. And it's not in the Picture Styles, this section here. What we want to do is go ahead and select Picture Effects. We'll select Bevel and it says circle here, so it says round bevel or circle. So we'll go ahead and select the circle. Task 20 wants us to go ahead and just key in a few values from this to the budget row here. So we'll go ahead and begin with uh, research, which is zero. We'll key in a zero, hit tab. The next one is communications and networking. So those are both zero. Event is 35. And the formatting is adding the percentage for us. Prom promotions, 10%. Advertising is 38. And public relations is 17. Make sure you hit enter on that last one to set the information. Task 21 wants us to go ahead and remove the hyperlink in A1. 
So what we want to do is go ahead and this is our title here. All we need to do is right click and then click remove hyperlinks.